a lot of you are single because you keep looking for a younger girl to marry ask yourself will you be able to handle a younger girl when it comes to her handling situation when it comes to her managing herself when it comes to her managing her temperament her anger how does she react when something happens how does she react around your friends how does she react you see hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is berries as you all know but if you're coming across my channel for the first time you're welcome please do well to press the subscribe button and also put on your post notification so that when next i post the video you will know about it and if you're an all-time subscriber i love and appreciate it so much thank you thank you for subscribing to my channel so i am here again today what am, am i going to be talking about i want to talk about age gap in spouses like when it comes to marriage I want to talk about age gap between spouses now i know that there are some male or female who say oh i can't get married to so so and so because um she's very um she's close closer to my age i need someone younger that is for men and some women they say oh i can't get married to so so and so because he's way younger than me or he's way older than me now today's topic is a topic that i've been wanting to talk about so for those of you that call yourself alpha male and alpha female and you want to marry someone that's your that is way younger than you i am going to say that when it comes to marriage for me age doesn't matter in short the best thing for you is to marry someone that you're a year or two years older than because why do i say so this person must have had has gone through life just like you has experienced some things that you may have experienced and they will understand situations when need be now when you go to a younger person a younger person has not hasn't passed through that experience she doesn't understand what you are talking about so you see uh, a lot of people uh why their marriages are having issues and you keep saying oh my wife doesn't understand me oh my husband this it is because you chose to marry someone based on your ego you want to marry someone you can control not a partner you want to marry someone that you're way older than so that when you tell her sit down she will listen to you but she's not a puppet you didn't marry a puppet you married a human being so when you have challenges in such marriages whether it has to do with family whether it has to do with work what it has to do with life your partner may not understand what you're talking about because she hasn't gone through that experience yet she hasn't been on earth as long as you have been so that is why your interests will keep clashing yes it will keep clashing now uh, a lot of guys say oh uh i want to marry a younger girl uh, because um i'm supposed to be the sole provider well that was back then not anymore now marriage is give and take you don't just marry a woman because you need a furniture in your house and uh, you can provide for her do everything for her no you marry a woman who can support you in the house supporting doesn't necessarily have to do with money sometimes is what you bring intellectually to the table you have challenges at work you have challenges you know on something and they are able to contribute they're able to sort you out they're able to advise you you know on what to do so before you say I want to marry a younger girl you have to think about it because a lot of guys have made that mistake that they are paying for it up till now and a lot of guys are still single because they haven't found that girl yet now you ask yourself 
why do I keep getting into a relationship with these younger girls and at the end of the day we break up at the end of the day it doesn't work out have you asked yourself that question have you sat down to compare and contrast compare the pattern that you're using the pattern of your relationship with these girls since you are going for the younger generation have you compared the pattern they are using and come to a conclusion that this works for me or it doesn't work for me have you thought about that or you just think oh they didn't work out or the girl is the problem or you are the problem no it is because of the decision that you have made in your mind that you have to marry a younger girl someone that you're way older than it doesn't work like that you can marry anybody for me and my husband were a year apart yes and it works perfectly trust me because i understand him and he understands me there's no much explanation when it comes to life situation there's no much like when it happens oh we both just understand that oh this is what needs to be done we just understand that oh sometimes it happens that we say it at the same time we come up with the solution at the same time and it's like practically the same thing that is because we have been on earth longer together we understand we've been we've, we've passed through life stages and we are almost at the same pace in the life race so we understand a lot of you are single because you keep looking for a younger girl to marry ask yourself will you be able to handle a younger girl when it comes to her handling situation when it comes to her managing herself when it comes to her managing her temperament her anger how does she react when something happens how does she react around your friends how does she react you see back then when our parents had issues we never used to know about it we don't they don't even show it to us because they matured about it you will not know they fall in their rooms when there's no one there but nowadays you see people bringing their issues to the internet you have an issue with your wife and she's quick to run to social media to share the problem she has in her home i always ask this question when you bring these issues to the social media or to social media what are you actually looking for is it that you're calling off the marriage because i don't understand why you're quarreling with your husband i'm not talking about domestic violence so don't get me wrong i'm talking about normal quarrel between a husband and a wife and you come to social media and you post it and you're still married to him and she's going to go back to him and you give people the opportunity strangers weirdos the opportunity to throw your partner and say a lot of unpleasant things and you're still living with that person i used to tell my friends that if you're dating someone and you have a quarrel with that person be mindful of what you say except you know that after saying those things you, you're no longer going to be in a relationship with that person but if you know that you're still going to date this person or you're still going to be in a relationship with this person be mindful of what you say because truthfully you can't take words back when you say it it sticks it registers even if that person forgives you it doesn't erase the fact that you said, you made those statements or you made those comments it doesn't erase the fact that you posted it on social media even if you delete it even if you delete it it doesn't change the fact that you posted it it doesn't change the fact that those people said unpleasant things to your partner so make a wise decision in choosing a life partner i'm not saying there are no younger persons that are matured we have them but there are not many so if you're lucky to find one kudos to you you made the right choice and for you that is uh, searching for a life partner you notice have you noticed that when you are in a talking stage or uh in a relationship with someone closer to your age do you see how easy it is do you see how easy it works for you you have peace of mind now have you asked yourself what are they doing differently 
they're not doing anything it's just age difference it's just that this other person has gone through life beyond this person so you put it on a scale and wait and know what you want because if you go to settle for a younger partner that has not experienced life that doesn't understand what life is all about that understands that her needs are to be provided for she's not supposed to bring a dime to the family she's a wife you married me you're supposed to take care of me but when you marry a woman or date a woman who has gone through life and see that oh i have to support my partner if my partner is doing this i have to do this if my partner brings 80 i bring 20 70 30 you have to bring something i'm not the ones who sit down and say oh uh the man has to do everything for me so men choose wisely what you want or who you want as a life partner at the end of the day you are the one that will spend the rest of your life with that person marriage is not relationship marriage is a lifetime thing so it's not a decision you should run into with sentiment with pity oh she has been there don't marry any woman out of pity oh. marry a woman that you can live under the same roof with you notice i didn't say marry a woman you love marry a woman you can cohabit with that understands you that understands the situation surrounding you her family the home that has something to bring to the table don't marry a woman that is quick to pack her bag when there's a little misunderstanding and she's quick to pack her bag and run to her father's house now i'm not saying that there are no mature ladies that behave that way they are that is why you are in the relationship with that person so you know what works for you but today i was talking about age difference in spouses like when it comes to marriage so guys make the right decision for yourself at the end of the day you're the one living with the person not me me i already have the one i'm living with and i'm okay with him so for you that is yet to take that step think about it think about what you want broaden your options i don't mean have many women broaden your options like don't leave any stone unturned when it comes to you picking a life partner if there is something that you know you cannot tolerate or cope with that woman for the rest of your life leave her alone because that is part of her it might be part of her flaws it may not change so it is something that will be with her for the rest of her life and you choosing her as a partner you're going to be with her for the rest of her life too so it's something that you have to cope with it's something that you have to tolerate so if you know that you've seen things that you can't cope with for the rest of your life then by all means don't do it this applies to both sex or both gender that when you're picking a life partner don't leave any stone unturned to the last detail because at the end of the day when you listen to yourself and your mind does not agree with you and you go with the idea of people telling you oh you have been with this girl for this years you have this girl has done this yeah you have to marry her now at the end of the day when you make that decision on behalf of those people both of you will now be living under the same roof and those people that advised you they're in their homes probably enjoying and when the issue starts coming they're not going to remember that the ones that ask you to make that decision even they will they will say oh you knew this girl was like this so why why did you go ahead you know this man was like this why did you go ahead to marry him or her why didn't you stand your ground and you end up standing alone because you had the power to make the decision and you made it abby so you're going to live with it for the rest of your life 
and even if you walk away from that marriage you're still going to live with the fact that you you got married and you walked away it's, it's still going to be part of you for the rest of your life so choose what you want to represent or what you want to represent you in life because it's your decisions that is going to be a reflection of what people see every decision you make will reflect and that is what people will see they are seeing the decision you made in life so is it a good or a bad decision is it a decision that every day you have to call people to settle quarrels is it a decision you made that you have to explain yourself or explain every minute where you are who you are with who you are talking to on the phone is it a decision you made that you have to explain why your female colleague is calling you at so so and so time why didn't she wait for you to come to the office the next day before she can pass the information is it the decision you made that your friends cannot visit you in the house because your wife is going to embarrass them as i have stated this thing it is left for you so either listen or not but know that the decision is solely yours the power is in your hand and whatever decision you make will live with you that is the best part it's not going to live with any other person it is going to live with you so choose wisely our advice and it's not necessary that you take my advice so choose wisely i'll leave it here so guys i appreciate you so much for watching my videos for sharing for your comments for your encouragement i really appreciate you guys like i said in my previous video i am back and better and we're going to be discussing a lot of interesting topics and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel please did i offend you in any way uh, <laughs> if i did i am sorry please click on the subscribe button and also put on your post notification click on the bell that bell you see that click on it it will notify you when next i post a video i love you guys so much and i really appreciate you for staying on my channel for watching this video till the end and i am going to see you next week on my next video i love you bye <laughs>